Nick is back with tons more heat. Let's hop in the Subi, you can take the front seat with a mic in my hand and a cam by my side. I'm bringing you updates, no need to hide. Repping the merch, the brand in bold. Beanies to keep you cozy and the jackets for the cold. Sipping from a mug, big bear style. Funny designs that will make you smile. Gifts for the kids, your dad and your mom. Check it out at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Well, I'd like to say a beautiful good morning to everybody. It's 5.45 in the morning. This is the beginning of the aftermath video. I wanted to start just as any light is coming out today because I wanted it to stay below freezing for this whole journey. Um, so you guys can just see the town as I see it when it's beautiful and, and when we still have all the snow from the storm. So this is the aftermath. There are a couple snowflakes, some residual snowflakes coming down right now from this storm but uh those will be done in probably 10 or 15 minutes so this is it thank you guys again for the support welcome back to the channel and uh, we're going to do the whole entire val the main part of the valley we're going to go all the way to baldwin lake to highway 18 just about to go down the back side of the mountain on the desert side and then we're going to go all the way to the dam so you guys can, will also get to see the difference in how much snow one side of town gets compared to the other I refer to it as the Big Bear Snow Rule, where one side of town will always get more snow than the other side. It's every storm, you guys. Absolutely every single storm. The Baldwin Lake side of town, where we're going first, they receive the least amount of snow where we're driving right now of the entire valley. And then just on the other side, seven and a half miles as the crow flies, they get the most amount of snow. So even though we didn't get that much snow out of this storm, you'll, you'll still be able to see the discrepancy. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of brown spots over here on, on this other side of town. So let's go check it out. And uh, forgive me for the loud uh, air in the car, but it's really cold out here. I gotta do this. And it is so icy right now. I mean, my snow tires aren't hardly doing anything right now. So, very icy. We gotta be extra cautious. This is super dangerous. But it's super worth it. somewhat looking forward to the storm being over because uh, after I push through today staying awake and doing my regular job I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight and don't forget y'all go to bigbearweatherandmore.com check out some of the merchandise we got some new stuff coming out soon and when we launch the new stuff, there will be some new commercials as well. But yeah, support the channel if you could, that'd be awesome. Hit that like and subscribe button, that would be super awesome as well. And uh, I heard the ski resorts might open in a week or maybe two. So get ready guys, get ready. Make sure when you come up here, you get your ski and snowboard rentals or anything you need to purchase at Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. All their information is in, is in the description of all the videos. You guys will be super stoked that I referred you there. I can, I, I, I can guarantee you that. They've got such killer stuff. And again, if, if you mention that I sent you, um, they'll probably take a little extra care of you. I'm still waiting to hear back from the owner on, on any type of uh, special promotion he would like to, to offer my peeps. <coughs> and when we get 
actually more snow guys I'll I'll be driving up into Sugarloaf and a lot of other well not a lot of other areas because there aren't a lot of other areas but we'll be going up into Sugarloaf and Upper Moon Ridge and stuff like that but today we're just gonna be staying mostly on the uh, on the valley floor and yeah you can see it getting light outside now dead man's curve and especially when it's this incredibly icy this this little turn scares the scares the poop out of me here especially at the bottom I'm gonna drop my gear here Big Bear City. For those of you who know Big Bear as just Big Bear, there are actually quite a few different zip codes up here and post offices. I didn't even know that until I moved up here. I thought when you send mail up here, it just all goes to Big Bear, California. But no, I was wrong. There's Big Bear Lake, there's Big Bear City, you have Fawnskin, you have Sugarloaf, and I think there's even a Moon Ridge post office. And I think there's one more. I think there's one more. I could be totally wrong. But again, don't mind this snow, you guys, falling from the sky. Usually I do the aftermath video when there's zero snow left falling from the sky. But this is just some leftover remnants that wasn't supposed to happen it'll be far over by the time we're done with this drive and we just passed on the left hand side over here big bear smoke and vape that's their main store over here again you guys i like to refer his shop because he's a sweetheart he made me feel super super welcome when i moved up here it was, it, was, it was hard because I didn't know anybody. And he was really, really good to me. Took care of me, hooked me up. Like just, just the nicest guy in the world. He's got the cutest little daughter. Just, just the cutest. And uh, yeah, guys, for the really good, good, good people, I love for people to help those type of people out. He deserves it. So again, it's Big Bear Smoke and Vape. They have a shop in Big Bear City off of Big Bear Boulevard, and they have a shop in Big Bear Lake off of Big Bear Boulevard. The Big Bear City shop is the bigger of the two. The Big Bear Lake shop is the newest one. So yeah, come on up here and show Sahil some love. And again, he's usually there at the Big Bear City store, so if you tell him I sent you, he'll probably take care of you.
So if we turned right here at the stoplight, we'd be going into Sugarloaf. This street right here, especially when it's super icy like this, is extremely dangerous to make this right turn to go up and down. It turns into an ice skating rink. It really does. I, I don't care how good your, your tires are, if you have chains or not. When it's severely icy, you're, you're not getting away with it. And you'll have cars crashing into each other one after the other. But yeah, look at this snow coming down. This is, this is great. Okay, this is Highway 38 coming up right here. If we would follow this to the right, it would take us on to Highway 38. But we're gonna cross Highway 38 and head into Baldwin Lake, heading into the least snowy part of the whole entire valley. The beginning of it still gets a decent amount of snow, but just on the other side of, of the lake itself, they'll hardly have anything. Dude, that stupid sound. Oh, it's a donkey. No, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, baby donkey. I'm sliding right into you. Look at the donkey. Look at the donkey. Can I say hi to the donkey? Hi, Mr. Donkey. How you doing, buddy? Can I say hi? How you doing? Well, good morning to you too, sir. Or ma'am. That was really cool. A little bit scary because I couldn't stop. Oh, getting a little loose, but that's okay. I gotta get used to that again, get the feel of it. Once it happens a couple times at the start of the winter, you're good. <laughs> Just a baby donkey all by himself. That makes me really sad. I didn't see mom or, or, or anyone around. Some people are going to get mad at me and say, it's a burrow. It's the same thing. your pants on hopefully people aren't in, in a debating mood so early <laughs> so right now we're on a, a street called Shea Road S-H-A-Y and Shea Road uh oh As, well, as you noticed, before we came into Baldwin Lake, we were on Big Bear Boulevard. So Shea Road is what Big Bear Boulevard turns into if you stay straight and come into Baldwin Lake. expect this many snowflakes to come down from what I saw on the radar. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you guys, it is so icy. Oh my goodness. Like really, really bad. Over here is Baldwin Lake. There's no lake there right now. But as winter gets closer and the heavier the storms, there will be water forming out there and it will turn into a giant lake for a few months. It's so beautiful out there. Right here off of Shea Road, or now it's Baldwin, Baldwin Lake Road. 
there's a little sledding area, a free little place. You can just pull your car up there and park and do some sledding if you're staying on this side of town. I do have a video in the playlist section of the channel about places to go where you don't have to pay to go sledding. So you can check that out. still hanging at 28 degrees usually this side of town gets colder so I was expecting it to drop all the way down to about 20 it was supposed to get down to 15 overnight but that didn't happen of course it sure felt like it when I went outside this morning though it felt really cold This is such a beautiful time of day up here during a little bit of snowfall and after a beautiful snowfall. We're going to stay towards the center of this road. part about driving out here really early or really late when there aren't really many people on the road is uh, especially when it's super icy you can try and drive towards towards the very center so if you do lose control a little bit you got a bit of space on either side hardly see any snow on the roofs over here it the amount of snow that appears on the roofs right now over here looks like what you would see when we get uh, um, gosh why am I spacing spacing the name of it frost <laughs> Jeez Louise We're going to be going all the way over there at the end of this. Oh, just getting a little loose again. Jeez Louise. about over by Big Bear Lake side of things when we are passing the dam and going through all those little up and down twists and turns. The guy behind me is all over the place. to uh, most of the storms that I drive through. You can see the lights at Snow Summit on the hill over there, way out there. And usually when the snow's deeper, I can charge a lot, a lot harder. And the snow tires really, really do their job.
6.05 in the morning. Since it was such a little bit of snow on either side of town, I don't know if you'll really be able to tell the difference, but I still think you will. There's some dry patches right over here. I, th I think when we get to the Big Bear Lake side of town, I think you'll be able to definitely tell a difference. There's Snow Summit again. Way, way out there. So if we turned right here, right where that car is, as soon as he makes that left little curve, he'll be starting to basically start to head down the mountain. And that's Highway 18 on the backside going down into Lucerne Valley. We just made a left. I know my left's from my right. We just made a left because we're heading back into the, the Big Bear Lake side of town. And again, yeah, there's there's just just a, a thick dusting of snow over here. another perspective of beautiful Baldwin Lake again that whole area you guys that whole entire area from here all the way to the hills at the opposite side of this picture here can turn into a huge lake So the Baldwin Lake area out here for a few months out of the year, a lot of those properties will be lakefront property. At the very beginning of it, it's beautiful. But then the water turns into like a just a nasty poisonous looking water. It's not poisonous, probably not, but it ends up really looking bad. Oh, 
entire area. This whole entire area. So you see that little area where the sky is clear right there? That's as you're heading into the desert and that's going to happen as these clouds hit that dry air, that dry desert air right there. It's going to just dissipate these clouds like nothing. We live in such a cool area for weather. The reason why this side of town doesn't get that much snow ever from the normal storms that drop in from like the Gulf of Mexico or or the just Pacific storms is because of that really dry desert air out there. It's fighting against this moist Pacific air and this dry air always wins. So by the time the storms get through our valley right here, they just completely fall apart right here. Completely fall apart. And that's why I decided to coined the term the big bear snow rule because it really is a rule it always it it happens every time <clears throat> i think once i've seen more snow over here and it wasn't more by much it, i think it was by like an inch but that was because the storm came in on the back side which is very rare so it hit here first and, and really hard and then traveled through the mountain range and had problems on the other side of town. So I am telling you, this is just so beautiful. So spectacular, you guys. This is amazing. those lights straight ahead that's snow summit but to the left is bear mountain bear mountain doesn't have lights because they don't have night skiing i think they should though i really think they should do that and this next week i'll be posting a video that we did about a week ago <clears throat> part of the off-road jeep series we took burns canyon all the way from uh, from Pioneer Town, all the way up here. It was such a beautiful video. You guys are gonna love it. It was so gorgeous. Basically, it's an off-road adventure from all the way down in the like Yucca Valley area, off of the 62 freeway or highway, um, close to Palm Springs but we took the, the dirt road from there all the way up here. snow flurries coming down but again you guys this is nothing this is the very end none of this is going to have any impact to make the town look any different so that's why we're still doing the aftermath right now and another big reason i told you guys is so we can keep the temperatures well below freezing so we don't lose any of this snow of course it can be <clears throat> below freezing <clears throat> and if we have direct sunlight radiational heating that can melt snow also but thankfully we have the clouds above us so you're gonna see the town in its most beautiful way
Would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? We got some tire issues. That's really weird because it was doing that for a little bit with my other tires. I think sometimes when it gets really cold, it just kind of messes up the uh, the reading. Well, we're gonna keep going. City. Population 6,025, elevation 6,754. My house is 6,835 feet. Sitting on the couch is 6,835 feet. And now we got some decent straightaways without much to worry about so we can get back up to speed a little bit. Again, guys, don't forget, if you really want to help us out here, hitting that like and subscribe button and supporting these videos is huge, man. Very, very, very helpful. As you guys can already tell, especially a lot of the new subscribers, I put a lot of effort into this channel. I put a lot of time into it, a lot of gas into it. So every, every assistance helps big time. I'm never going to let you guys down. I'm going to always bust my tail for you guys. Okay, Big Bear City. Fonz going straight ahead. So, right here, we're on Highway 38 right now. Or no, 18. Now we're on Highway 38. So when we just crossed that street called Greenway, that's how you can continue on Highway 18. You'll turn left there, and then it'll take you to Big Bear Boulevard, where when you turn right on Big Bear Boulevard, you'll be back on Highway 18 but we just were on Highway 18 from the backside. And once again, as we crossed Greenway, it turns into Highway 38. So now we're on Highway 38 all the way to the Big Bear Dam. And then we'll be back on Highway 18. actually where all the residential area used to be during the gold rush in the 1800s there wasn't anything here in this valley just a bunch of trees and nothing if you want to see Holcomb Valley in the search part of the channel just type in uh, Holcomb Valley and I have a ton of videos up there it's really beautiful That is the, the wildlife refuge area. When I first moved up here, there wasn't any water in there either. It was as dry as it gets. But the past couple years, we've been able to maintain 
water in there 365 days out of the year for a couple years now. so beautiful it almost looks like it, it it's already open it's not though so usually we would turn left here to head back into big bear lake this is stanfield cutoff but we are certainly not going to do that we got a ways to go folks for this last part of the drive i'll try to shut up for the most part um except just mention pertinent things at least what i feel is pertinent this just real quick it says welcome to fawn skin right there that sign's pretty new because Fonskin's way up here. So I don't know if they've changed this area to uh, be called Fonskin also. Or maybe that sign's always been there, but Fonskin is way up here. some beautiful lake views as we get into fawn skin as we're exiting fawn skin actually we're going to be right on the edge of the lake for quite a bit of time so it's going to be beautiful
temperature today is going to get up to about 35 degrees and then we're going to see a nice little warm up after that we'll be back into the 40s and 50s for the high temperatures maybe even 60s but i doubt it So over here, this is a uh, um, a big campground. This this whole area, all the way up through here, and it goes way, way, way back. It's called the Serrano Campground. I think it's our biggest one up here, and the most popular one. I haven't done a video at the campgrounds yet up here, and I definitely need to go to every single one and do a video for you guys for the playlist. All right, so now we're entering Fawn Skin. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's at least two to three times as much snow over here as there was on the other side of town in Baldwin Lake. Yeah, at least three times as much. And, it, and it's, it's still gonna get a little bit deeper the further we go. heads up also <clears throat> when you guys come up here and when we get our, our our nighttime lows down to 20 and lower be very very careful rolling down your windows because I've I've had problems in my previous vehicles where I blew out the whole electronic system for my windows to roll down because it was so cold it just broke everything when I tried it so just Never forget that. That can be a very costly mistake. Yeah, I blew two of them out at once. I tried to roll down my driver's side window and I heard pop 
and then nothing worked. And then I'm like, hey, well, let me just try the passenger side and then pop. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to be very careful of that. Looks like a fun road to drive up right now. Right now at 28 degrees, we'll be good though. I need some fresh air. about to come into the fawn skin area. The downtown fawn skin area. Speed limit's 25 through here. <clears throat> You are going to want to go the speed limit. Let me tell you. You're gonna want to go the speed limit, man. This area has been in a lot of movies. Here's their little store right here. And this is the Grout Creek Tributary, which we are driving over right now. This is so beautiful when it's flowing. There's the post office. Yeah, this is such a cute part of town. And we're coming up to Jackie and Shadow in the Eagle Sanctuary. One last thing, this place called the Outpost they don't have any bookings, at least they didn't up to last year on Expedia or anything like that. So you gotta go to theoutpost.com. They've got a couple cabins right on the tributary right there. So it's pretty beautiful, pretty beautiful area. But yeah, we're about to come in right now to where Jackie and Shadow live. They live in one of these trees up here to the right. Not too far from this road. exactly where but it's up here right around here right there on, on, on the corner of where the lake or where the land curves and they have a view of to, that's like probably the best view in this whole entire town for a lakefront view I wish I wish we lived there we did have an opportunity over the summer to move into a four bedroom place right on the lake and we almost jumped on it but the rent I'm paying right now is so inexpensive. They haven't raised it since I moved here 10 years ago when everything else has tripled in price. So we decided, you know what? I mean, 
mean, I'm super happy there. I, I really am. Over the years, I've done a lot of upgrades to the inside, like put wood floors, have it repainted, add a huge, large water heater instead of the small one so we never run out of hot water. Um, put in the nicest accordion blinds, put in a washer dryer and added some ampage of electricity and put in a Toto toilet a sub-zero fridge and freezer, a, a really nice stainless steel stove, and yeah, completely transformed the place. It's really beautiful on the inside. Really, really beautiful. <clears throat> the four bedroom place was super expensive. My wife wanted to move, move there. Even though she's happy here, but it, I, guys, it was such a beautiful view over by the Lagunita Lodge. But hopefully we'll be buying a home soon. I hope, I wish my landlord was selling the whole property because then I, I would find some way to uh, pick it up first moved up here I was just getting out of my real estate career and I had looked up my property because it's got like five houses on the property and I think the whole whole property sold for like uh, back then just before I moved up here for like 300,000 or something like that which is just insane you know that's something doable and then you have four other properties besides the one that you live in to fix up a little bit and rent them out or do Airbnb because it's the most perfect location but now it's over a million dollars just three years or ten years later more than three times what it originally is This guy is parked this the whole length of this all the way to the dam a lot of people like to park here and go fishing right here and this guy's sliding right down into that area it's 6 40 in the morning
right, we have arrived. We're gonna be turning left onto Highway 18 from Highway 38. If you turn right here, you will be heading out of town. Way off in the distance there, you can see Snow Valley Ski Resort. That's Snow Valley up there. part of the entire valley. If you look at the side of the road, you can see there's a lot more snow here than there is in Baldwin Lake in the least snowiest part of the valley. There weren't piles of snow from the snow plows. And again, this was a very small storm, but it's every single time. As I said, when this side of town right here gets maybe two feet of snow, Baldwin Lake will have maybe five or five inches, six inches of snow, maybe. And that's a big maybe. And it's only seven and a half miles, guys. That's it, same elevation and everything. here is for sale it's super inexpensive but it's just impossible to get up this darn driveway right here even when it's plowed good luck seriously good luck getting up and down that thing in the winter time that would be a great property for people who like to come spend time up here in the summer and then never come back during the winter some pretty remarkable houses right on the lake that's where a lot of the extremely wealthy celebrities end up buying properties right down there could you imagine making that much money reading what somebody else writes for you like you don't have to really think at all it's amazing I used to be an actor as a kid I had a three-year acting contract with one of Hollywood's biggest child star managers named Linda Goodfriend. It was back in the Fred Savage days, and Fred Savage was under her management also. It was cool, but I just can't believe how much money these, these people make. to get 
get there someday. It'd be nice to live life without worrying about stuff like that, you know? Without worrying about money ever and where the only worry is, hey, am I gonna drive the Ferrari or the Lamborghini or the Rolls today? Oh, uh, you know what? We'll just take the Range Rover instead. That's, that would be a good quandary to have. As a lot of you know from watching for years, like I get really depressed, um, just about everything, you know? And uh, I'd rather be really depressed with a lot of money than really depressed and having to worry about money all the time. I'm very grateful. I'm able to at least pay my bills every month. Some months though, I have to take, take money out on my credit cards at like a 34% interest rate to pay my bills. But then that next month, usually I'll make up for it and be able to pay down that card again. But it's just, that, that, that struggle is just horrible. And this is Boulder Bay Park, you guys. This is one of the most beautiful areas in all of Big Bear. There's a parking lot right here for you guys to park and walk out onto the park. There's a little beach there too. I strongly urge you guys to check it out. It's just so gorgeous. All right, well, we got through the hardest part of the drive. There's nothing else that's gonna be sketchy at all the rest of the way. So we can kind of step on the gas a little bit more. estate office or at least it used to be but before I moved up here that was a drive-in theater that whole area I still wish they had it because that would be so nice oh look at that look at that look at that blue sky right there oh my gosh that is beautiful that is gorgeous here's our Civic Center right here City Hall baby placed an order for another McGriddle and hash browns. The 
reason why I've done it two days in a row is because uh, I started my business because I was tired of working for other people and having to wake up super early. I always have a hard time waking up early. So with with my business, I don't open until 10 a.m. So I'm I'm always typically still in bed until 10 a.m. Because I don't get to sleep till about 4.30 or 5. I just can never fall asleep. But therefore, I'm just never up early enough to go get any Mickey D's breakfast. And I've been doing my thing up here for about eight of the 10 years that I've lived here. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm looking forward to that sausage, egg and cheese McGriddle. I ordered two of them with two orders of hash browns and two orange juices. <laughs> oh yeah. Keep in mind you guys, our fast food places up here are significantly more expensive than down the mountain. My, my meal right now was 22 bucks, but I used the Mick order thing and uh, it was, uh, I got 20% 20, uh, 20 off because I spent more than $15. So it cost me 18 and change. And my same meal down the mountain, I think is maybe four or five bucks less. I mean, it's a humongous difference, especially the Taco Bell up here. But real quick, I want to point out to you guys my favorite lodging up here. We're, we're entering the Big Bear Village right now. This is the club at Big Bear Village, a blue-green resort. They are a timeshare, and they do rent on Expedia and other areas like that as well. Um, if you can rent there, I suggest you do. I posted a video, two videos staying there. Check out the lodging playlist and check it out for yourselves it's really 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 nice it's my favorite place up here and it's right here in the village right here smack dab in the village Fun ride, you guys. Wow, I'm sliding right through that stop sign there. Anyway, once again, please help me out by hitting that like and subscribe button. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to help support the channel as well. There's other ways you can support me by going into the description of the videos. I don't know if it's at, at the bottom of the list of things down there, but you can help me out there as well. Um, it really does help going towards gas and stuff like that. But don't worry because no matter what, I'm always going to do this. This is what takes away a lot of my depression is doing this and then chatting with you guys constantly. It's, it's really, really, really helpful for me. So thank you guys for everything. You guys have saved my life, literally. I'm a very lucky man to call a lot of you my friend. And that's no joke. So now we're heading back on Big Bear Boulevard. Let's get a little loose here. Dang snow tires keeping me gripped. But yeah, thank you again. Hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Let's keep our fingers crossed for some more snow sometime soon. I would really love that. And uh, in the meantime, just... Uh, yeah, take care. And thank you again for everything. Looking forward to the comments. We will uh, talk to you soon. Love you all. 28 degrees, 7 in the morning. The aftermath is complete. <laughs>